guys, welcome. Hello. Hello. Good, morning. Good, morning. Good morning. Welcome to the Hispanic Heritage Month. Okay, this is going to be an interview just to get to know a little bit more about you and just to get some information about your background. Okay, so I'm going to begin with what is your name and what is your role at school? Okay, who wants to, you want to start? What is your name, Miss? Carida. And what is your role at school? Uh, facility. All right, ma'am. You're going to have what is your name? I'm Miss Carreras and I'm an admin assistant. Doctor? I'm Alvarez and I am an admin assistant. Uh -huh. I am Mary Tillett and I'm a day custodian at Vice. Thank you. Okay, so can I, can you please tell me where were you born? All right. Donde nací tú? Ah, en Cuba. En Cuba. New York. Uh huh. I was born here. Here? Okay. Born. I was born in Colombia. Colombia, good. Okay, so I want to know if you were not born here, okay, what is your family, country of origin? Okay. Okay. That um, my mother is Puerto Rican and my dad is Cuban. Okay. And my mom's Puerto Rican and my dad's Dominican. Dominican, okay. Cuba, Cuba. Cuba, Cuba. Mine are Colombians. Colombia, Colombia. Okay, good. Okay, so. Have you always known English or Spanish? And how did you learn? Okay? Not necessarily that you like speaking, but how have you have you learned the language? Because I throw sometimes I throw words in English and she's speaking up a lot. Alright, and how did you learn, Miss? I learned when I came here, I came when I was 18, so I went to college and everything in Chicago, and oh. my husband, his language is English, and his family, they used to come and talk to me. I used to hate it. I used to hate it, say, go home, go home, you know. But you know, once I, I went to college and everything, and then I used to talk English, my ears just open, and yeah, now yeah. I don't translate anymore. Oh yeah, at some point like, you don't translate. I mean, did you learn some Spanish or do you learn how how do you learn? Do I you understand. Right? I I understand a lot more than I speak, and what I know is mainly because of my grandmother. Even though she passed when I was young, but I know majority from her, and then everything else from just picking up here, you know, just listening to everybody talk and pick up from what they, you know, they've said that we have to keep going. Yeah. South Florida. Yes, <laughs> of course. All right. And um, my, I'll have learned Spanish because of my parents are both bilingual and really my family, aunts, uncles. And so it's from here, my family. They said, you better speak Spanish. I know, I if you want to eat, you better speak Spanish. Right. Right? <laughs> I, know, I know. Okay, so can you please tell me what motivated you or your family to come to the United States? So, ¿qué te motivó a ti o a tu familia venir a los Estados Unidos? And you miss? I came here because my father was here and so he told me I had to come. So everybody wants the American dream, so I came with my mom. Mm, okay. So for a long time. Gotcha. And Miss, do you know what motivated your family? No, no, no idea. <laughs> no. And do you know Miss Carrera? Yeah, my dad came from the Dominican Republic. Um, but when he lived there, he was a musician, so he'd always travel to the United States for, for music for gigs. Oh. Um, and so he had more opportunities in the United States. So, yeah, so. Definitely. Okay, so what would be a Hispanic tradition, okay, that you know, that you practice with your family, that you would like to pass down to your kids, that they practice that too? So, ¿qué tradición? Eh, practicas tú con tu familia, tradición hispana, que te gustaría que tus hijos continuasen. ¿Cuál crees tú? Una tradición que tú sigues todo el tiempo. Ah, reunirnos en familia, comer en familia. Mm -hmm. Exacto. And, and you, do you know any Hispanic traditions that you would like to? My mom's thing has always been like how close the family is, how close we are, on the, especially on the holidays, and basically like sharing their you know their experiences like with cooking and their you know their little tweaks on how they make their cooking better exactly yeah exactly exactly make the rice right the beans the panini everything uh-huh there you go exactly. <laughs>
And you with Karaya? Um, I agree. Like now with holidays, and, like there's certain meals we all make together. Um, like one thing I would always do is also make sofrito, like the seasoning. Oh, yes. mm -hmm. So like just making those things together. <laughs> I know. And for me to uh, family ties is important and celebrate everything together and trying to get my kids uh, to know their cousins and families and just the way how we grew up and I think it's been very beneficial for my kids. Yeah. Definitely. Because then like that they just keep together. So what are some uh, things that make the Hispanic culture special? Anything that you can think of that makes us Hispanic special in comparison with others? The nation, the, we always so friendly. Mm -hmm. humble. We are very humble, friendly. We we always say hi to people. We we doesn't matter if we don't even know them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think also that we're very diverse. Mm -hmm. Not all Hispanics look one way. We all look different ways. We all act differently. So I think that we're very diverse too. Yes. ¿Qué, qué, qué crees tú que nos hace a los hispanos especiales? Que nos hace, o hace a la cultura hispana que nos hace especiales. Ay, la música. Mira, la música, la salsa, la salsa, la comida. El sabor, el sazón. Ay, lady, thank you very much. Mira, que hay algo.